Good evening, bonsoir. Thank you to the Learning Partnership. What an honor it is to accept this recognition on behalf of my fellow RBCers in the room and across the country. And it is an honor also to be sharing the stage with Dr. Avis Glaze. Our long history of supporting public education is a great source of pride for us. In fact, RBC's organizational pur purpose is to help clients thrive and communities prosper. And our employees' support for public education is a great expression of our purpose in action. As I mentioned in the video, we take what we call a more than money approach. Yes, of course, making financial investments is essential, but sometimes even more important is the incredible talent, the passion, the commitment that RBCers bring to their volunteer efforts. And as we all know, it really is that human connection that brings about change, that builds people's confidence. For example, just last week, we collaborated with the Learning Partnership to host a Coding Quest Arcade for over 150 kids in grades four to six. It really was amazing to see these kids who were challenged to create video games and then to pitch their ideas to RBCers. So think Science Fair meets Dragon's Den, only these were RBCers, so all the dragons were super nice and very encouraging. I do want to uh, um, give a shout out here to one of my colleagues, Andrea Niles Day, Andrea. for her leadership in making this happen. Andrea has been spearheading RBC's Teaching Kids to Code program, which links employee volunteers from our technology teams with kids ages 8 to 12 to learn introductory coding and often in underserved communities. With technology transforming our world now more than ever, preparing young Canadians for the future requires new ways of collaborating across all sectors, educators, business, governments, community leaders, civil society, and families, to ensure that every young person gets the education and skills they need to thrive. We know that it truly takes a village to solve big problems. We also believe that every student should have a work integrated learning experience as part of their education. Why, as we've heard from many people already, to teach them critical 21st century skills, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, creativity, digital skills, financial literacy. And it's because the success of our organizations and of, our, of Canada's prosperity ultimately depends on this. As you saw in the video, we are committed to unlocking the potential of young people through our RBC Future Launch, which focuses on education and the bridge to employment. And taking a leadership role in work integrated learning is a key element of our commitment. It was interesting today as I listened to, um, to all of the speakers on, on, uh, on the stage, uh, we all have our stories and I have mine too. I came to Canada when I was 14 with my mom and my brother. Now we know that 14 is a pretty tough age for any change and this was a very big change. And what I do remember that my public school experience was a really important part of that transition for me, of making me feel that I belonged in my new home, and ultimately in building my confidence to dare to dream, and resilience to take risks to pursue those big dreams. So to all the educators here and across Canada, I say thank you for the important work that you do in the classroom and beyond for your impact in ensuring every young Canadian can dream big and reach her or his full potential. As Nelson Mandela said, 
education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So I invite you to join me in reflecting on what we can do as individuals, organizations, educators, and governments to support public education in preparing our children for the future and building a more prosperous Canada. And as we get ready to celebrate our nation's 150th anniversary, what better time to reflect on this critical question. Once again, I salute my fellow RBCers across the country who, who this award, this recognition really belongs to all of you. Thank you so much for what you do day in and day out. And thank you to the Learning Partnership for the wonderful work that you do. Thank you.